Verifying smart contracts enables users to view the source code of the contracts before any interactions that exchange value. And that helps others avoid trusting authors of contracts that they may want to interact with. So let's see what smart contract verification is, how it works, and how you can start verifying Hedera smart contracts today. Let's say you're the author of a smart contract. When you verify that contract, you're giving users and other developers the ability to review and evaluate your code. And that way they can perform their due diligence to confirm that the source code they see from a verification service actually matches the code deployed on the blockchain network. When a smart contract is verified, that doesn't mean that the contract is good, bad, safe, or malicious. It just means that the source code is available for anyone to inspect so that they can determine if it's worthy of interaction. So in that sense, this verification is not the same as formal verification or contract audits. Now, this verification process may require having some understanding of solidity, smart contracts architecture, potential security vulnerabilities, and other topics. Or folks can consult the opinions of experts that they trust. There are multiple platforms available for verifying contracts. And so Sourceify at Sourceify.dev is an open source service that supports dozens of chains. And it's also the most common one. And there's also the ability to verify contracts from respective network explorers like Hashcan for Hedera, Etherscan, Polygonscan, and others. Just keep in mind that these services are typically operated as separate repositories. So a verification on one platform will not appear on another platform. In some cases, the author of a smart contract may want to do verification on both a specific network explorer and also the main instance of Sourceify.dev when a contract is going to be deployed using the same EVM address on multiple chains. Regardless of the implementation or the service used, at a high level, the process of verifying smart contracts follows these few steps. First, the author or the owner of a smart contract deploys it on a distributed network like Hedera. After the deployment, the author goes to a verification service and uploads the source code and or the metadata for the smart contract that was deployed. The verification service then compiles the source code that was uploaded and compares the result of that compilation to the bytecode of the contract that was deployed. And from this comparison, the verification service provides a result of no match, partial match, or a full match, which is also called a perfect match. Then the service saves the verification result and the source code in a repository. And from there, anyone can now look at the smart contract in an explorer, view the verification results, and evaluate the contract source code. Let's see that process in action on Hedera. Hedera is supported by the main Sourceify instance, along with other chains that you can see here. In addition to that, there is a Sourceify instance that is specific to Hedera and is accessible through Hashscan. And so that is what we'll be using today. Now, it's worth noting that this Hedera-specific instance of Sourceify supports the mainnet, testnet, and preview net environments. And it supports the periodic resets that are done for the test networks. So once the test networks are cleared, so are the verifications. Now let's look at an example where we deploy a contract on Hedera using Ethers.js and verify that contract from Hashcan, which is the network explorer we've mentioned before. Our contract is this Solidity file called inventorylookup.sol, and it is a simple data storage contract. It has a constructor function, a setter function, and a getter function. So let's compile this contract using the SolC compiler to get the binary, the AVI, and also the metadata. We'll output those files to the contracts folder, and the contract we'll compile is in the contracts folder called inventory lookup. So there we see our compilation is successful. And here we have the different outputs. This is the metadata file, which is a JSON file. Here is the ABI of the contract and also the smart contract bytecode. So we're ready to deploy our contract. If we go to the index file, this file performs the imports. It reads the ABI and bytecode from the contracts folder 
and we'll use these to deploy our contract. It also defines some constants that we'll use to easily switch between testnet and mainnet and to build some URLs. Then it initializes the ethers provider and signer. And in the main function, we simply define the amount of gas for our contract deployment and some parameters to pass to the constructor function of the contract. That's just the initial data we're storing in the contract. Then we perform the contract deployment, get the contract address, and print that to the console. So when we run this file, here we get the address of the contract and also a URL for hash scan. Let's just grab the address and go to Hashcan to verify it. So on Hashcan, we can enter the address of our contract. We see that it is not yet verified. We also have some additional information about the entity. If we click on verify contract, if we provide just the Solidity file, we can still verify our contract. But you will see that we're reminded that providing the metadata file as well increases the chances to get a full match. For this example, let's continue. Then we're reminded that the status and source files will be public after the verification. And if we confirm, there we see our verification results with a partial match. In a partial match, the deployed bytecode matches the bytecode from the recompilation process, except for the metadata hash portion. If you want to know more about partial versus full matches, be sure to check out the sourceified documentation. Now let's re-verify our contract to get a full match. This time we provide both the metadata and the source file. We confirm, we're reminded that these items will be public after verification, confirm, and there we see our contract has been verified with a perfect or full match. So now that our contract is verified, anyone can click on view contract sources. And this is again, the Hedera specific instance of Sourceify. So we can look at the metadata file or we could look at the source file we looked at before for our contract. And here is the metadata as well. So that wraps up the example. If you want to try the same exact example and flow, be sure to grab it from the GitHub link below. And be sure to create a Hedera testnet account so you can develop and test your blockchain applications free of risk and free of cost. So to recap, in this video you learned what smart contract verification is, how it works, and you saw how you can start verifying your smart contracts on the Hedera network today. Thanks for watching.